you brought up a very good point there uh, regarding the developing and the windows change that's coming up. Right. Um, I'm not going to go too much into this because I do have a video of my own that's going to go over Windows 8 because I can't say any requests I've had to go over Windows 8. No shoot, shoot, when Windows when, you, when you post that, shoot me the link so I can add it to the footnotes to this know. video so people but can go over it. Short of it, Microsoft from Metro um, has a, God, I have to just make it in layman's terms, a, a different development environment for Metro. And then they have a, an environment that we're already used to, which we call .NET, which then they come back and say .NET can accept, can pass access to Win RT, right? But they said the same kind of bullshit uh, when we were in .NET 1, going to .NET 2, going to .NET 3, and all that crap. Okay? Uh, Nothing is ever as pleasant as the sense of And that, that was the primary reason I put this in here. I'm like, I, I have I, have you, based on the betas and screwing around? No, because I'm not thinking with Metro. I don't even look at it. Uh, okay. I don't even look at, at, at uh, Metro. I have it here. I'm not interested. I, I, have, <laughs> I have so many clients that are. I have to deal with .NET on. I, I, I'm... <laughs> You know what? The fact that that's your reaction pretty much proves my concern is justified that the developers are going to just revolt. And the reality is, it's it, Windows it, Windows 8 with what they're trying to do in this Metro and this WinRT thing, It until the developers embrace it and make it stick, they've created their own worst enemy. And I... I for the reasons you're pointing out here about, you know, yes, you can technically access it through .NET, but it, like you were pointing out with, you know, theoretically you can do this, but it's not, if, the, if it's laggy, if it's inefficient, y'all aren't going to want to do it that way. But from what I understand, if you make a pure Metro thing and you don't do it to run through .NET, then it's not going to run on anything else, correct? Um, it's, it's, WinRT is an environment, essentially, Windows Run Time. Um, but but that, that environment is running. going to be on Windows 8 and Phone 7. Well, it's still a visual studio, essentially. But, I mean, it's just, uh, you, you do have to, I, I haven't messed with WinRT Metro, for Metro. There was actually a Windows Runtime of old uh, that was, very, uh, but, but um, the, the, I haven't messed with Metro enough to get into too many specifics, um, and I need and see that the, 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 the problem with my Windows 8 video is I, I don't ever like talking out of my ass, so I have to set some time to. You're, you're gonna have to go look at it and screw with it to do the I, video. I, I want to theoretically take what I'm doing in some projects within .NET and then begin to code in this uh, for for Metro and, and see what my complaints and. Uh, or or positives. Uh, well, from, uh, well, I, well, know, well, I already know from talking from my colleagues that they're already bitching about it. So it can't. If they're already bitching, <laughs> I'm, well, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm the grumpiest tech of it all. So you know, it's probably not do, uh, has Microsoft said. If because when when they went over to .NET initially, .NET was not bundled with Windows. But anybody, you know, if they had something that needed .NET, they could download the version of .NET they needed. Are they going to allow Vista and 7 to download, you know, RT if the application was written for Windows 8 and Metro? Or are they going to say, no, you have to have System X and we're cutting off System Y. I, I, they should make it available to XP, but I know based on what they've been doing with everything else, even though hackers have proven it will run just fine on XP, yeah, they're not I, going I, I, to. <laughs> right. Um, from what I've heard is that, okay, let's say you write in C Sharp. There's functions and subsets in, Win, in, in WinRT for Metro that are specific for it that you have to, okay, now I'm waiting for writing for kind of things, and, and the kind of access that .NET gives it to you. So, um, that, you know, because Metro has its subset of what it will do. We're already used to, let's say I write a C-sharp application. 
and .NET, whatever, for our service. Well, and, and, and that, that, that's sounding like Microsoft being their own worst enemy because they have spent the last five years getting everywhere to, you know, teach C Sharp. You know, doing C Sharp, doing .NET. I, I, that, I, just... I, I, I need to actually physically test it myself, which I haven't had time, and that's why there's no Windows 8 video for me um, yet, because I need to take the time and, and, and do some projects that I've got here on my... Because see, on this computer to my left, uh, I, ha I both ha I have Windows Vista on, and then on, on the hard drive, I have Windows 8. Uh, and then on this one that we're running Skype on is Windows 7. Both I have running on 32-bit version, and I have a 64-bit version on the hard drive. So Did I have to sit and, and, and just do it. How, how it. long have you... Are, are you running the um, developer one or the, or the beta for Windows 8? Developer. Uh, okay. I'm assuming you've been running that pretty much since it came out, right? Yeah, but it gets updated all the time. Yeah, I, I know it gets updated all the time. I, that means you've been using it for over a month. Uh, no. Yeah. Say what? Well over a month. Yeah, I, I, I know. It, it, it's been well over a month. It's been actually a few. Um, in that time, have you been able, just honestly, have you been able to get to the point where you've been able to get over the Metro UI and it's like, okay, no. it, <laughs> it's still bugging you. <laughs> yes. That's, mm -hmm. that's the thing right there. I like it. I, I, Windows is not... <sighs> Unless you had a touch screen there, it's going to get look, in your way. Look, 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 He's trying to be diplomatic, people. <laughs> you know me too well. <laughs> um, Metro will be good, like I said, I believe, and we have another show, for new users and simple users. Okay? That, they're going to love it. I use Windows because my clients use Windows. It, 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 it has dominated my life because my clients chose Microsoft. Uh, they paid the bills, so therefore it has been dominant. My history with Windows has been an unpleasant. Uh, my first um, a bit less real operating system would have been Windows three five uh, Windows NT three five one, and then I went to Windows NT four. And I kept Windows NT4 until 2003. So we're talking about a 1996 operating system and keeping it until 2003. I hated Windows 311. I kept, I still stayed on the Mac equivalent, you know, when I, when I was on the Mac. Um, the, I went, I went to only to XP in parallel, Windows NT4. Windows NT4 was my main, this is this way. Windows NT4, Service Pack 6A, <laughs> was was my dominant Windows operating system until Windows Vista. Uh, and then I had to change because Windows Vista was so drastically different. And, 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 and let me tell you, all the .NET support was it was not fun on Windows NT4. So essentially, I ran in parallel. I had parallel machines. But it wasn't my dominant Windows machine, if you, if you can understand that. Yeah, I, I know exactly what you're talking about, uh -huh. being somebody else who has about a dozen systems here. So, <laughs> Windows 7 is now my dominant, my dominant machine. And I look at Metro, and it's a, it's, it's a retail consumer OS, end of story. It has nothing to do with a prosumer at all. It, it, it's... It's that Windows to me is my business. Uh, it will not replace OS 10. Maybe in the future, years from now, but there's no more Mac Pro. Ten years going on, and it's some piece of crap. iOS or iOS 10 becomes iOS, then then I start have to look in the Metro or something. But um, the 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 that, that's I don't even foresee that. But the 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 deal of it is, is that OS X is my personal machines. Macs have dominated my life as personal machines. Uh, Windows has dominated my life as my business machines. 
and uh, I don't really see that changing much at all. And I do do a lot of business on my Macs as well. Those that are Linux based, believe it or not, I have Emacs on my OS X machine. Uh, I have, uh, you know, if it's like Ruby or Python or something else. Uh, but I don't have many customers that, that dwell in those arenas. Uh, most of my customers, I, I, I do a tremendous amount of things that you would consider enterprise skill. I live, especially now, in recent years, in databases, like there's no tomorrow. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so I'm much more of a back-end programmer today than I, am, uh, I was years ago. So. Oh, whatever pays the bills. It's, there's, you know, you, the, the, I've, basically the industry goes through phases and you wind up just kind of following the money. It's like, well, the money's over here, I'm going over there. It's, um, but, it, it, see, but what you're getting at right there it is, I honestly, I, I, I'm buying more and more credence to your idea that Windows is going to fork into two OSs because I, 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 it, I'm not seeing how business can can get business done. Like you said, Metro's great for the, I want to listen to a song, I want to open my email, I want to type a letter. You know, I want to do simple, basic stuff. And, you know, and the reality is, all the platforms, you know, meet the needs of the simple, basic user. Once you get beyond those basic things, you know, the different platforms have their pros and cons for different industries. Yeah, but I, I'm exactly. I am. I actually prefer developing on, on Windows versus OS Ten. OS Ten is too is too singular in that, like the top menu bar, which has always been like that for years, changes with with the application in hand. Windows is more. But it's not internally, so don't misinterpret what I'm saying. The UI of Windows gives credence to parallel tasking for me, and OS X does. That was primarily the reason I switched over to Windows way, way back in the day. I liked the separateness of that. Exactly. And, and for I, 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 ha I like the boxed encapsulation of every function that is necessary for each window there. Um, and I became very efficient and efficient at programming Windows. I, I program a lot in OS X, but I still prefer just Windows as it is within Windows. And that's what Metro is the antithesis of. Metro is not even Windows. Why do you even call it Windows? Because that's what because that's what Microsoft has called their operating system since the thing, so they're going to keep calling it. But but I agree with you, and, and honestly, that's the problem. It, it, it's tiles. Call it tiles. It's not even really tiles. It, it's it's a tile screen that creates monolithic tasks. Whatever. I don't give a crap. Call you know something. It's not Windows. Windows has. You know, I have to do a, a, a video on, <laughs> these are the things I'm hoping to do in 2012. I have videos coming up on Windows Registry and how Windows behaves and how Microsoft has a lot of brilliant conceptual ideas that are usually poorly executed, uh, that we, which we complain about. But the registry and the way that Windows is and behaves conceptually is, is, is to me, extremely ahead of a lot of operating systems. Uh, unfortunately, at this point, you're very soon. You're going to have to say the way Windows behaved. Yeah. Uh, and, and that's the thing. It basically, I'm honestly seeing anybody who does anything more than the most basic stuff that's on the Windows platform getting exceedingly annoyed at this metroness because without dramatically augmenting the Metro UI in a way that allows that same type of multitasking and workflow and access. You could add it in, but it ain't there right now. And, and without that, it, it's reduced a Windows computer largely to a one thing at a time machine to a one window, full screen window at a time machine. Basically, you have to go click, do something. Yep. Click out, I click to. Tight. 
Yeah. I am so happy with Windows 7. Windows 7 and me, Microsoft, you know, I tip my hat to them. I'm, I'm, I love Windows 7. Windows 7 is my new Windows NT4 service pack system. And, and, and I, because it's efficient, it does everything I want, it doesn't, it doesn't, it, I, I haven't had one crash. So, um, I, I, Windows 7 to me is, is, uh, there, there's, there's features Windows 7 is missing I need for my workflow. I, I need, I need the See, multi- when, when would have paid Windows NT4 to, you know, Windows NT4 didn't even have a device manager and stuff like that. You know, I, I can't tell you how many colleagues would just look at me and go, oh God, <laughs> there's bits <of> machine. <laughs> Fucking NT4. You know, and, and I'd say, I don't care, don't touch it. What do you want me to do? And I'll do it myself. You know, because it was, <laughs> yes, it would bitch like a son of a bitch. It was like a mad wet hit with your wife in the most miserable mood you could possibly imagine if you fuck with it. Wrong. <laughs> It would, but you know, but man, if you caressed her and you and you, and, and you treated it right and you did it correctly, boy, when in T4 it was a badass. Bit, was your wife jealous of your NT4 machine? <laughs> <laughs> I feel the need to ask that, you know. Ah, <laughs> uh. uh. I have so many years of that operating system, you know, so many memories and projects and shit. I mean, it's you know. Too much, too much. By the way, you know, here's my idea. We can keep this in the show. I think that you should not do part one, part two, part three, part four. I want, I want you to do shows with you and I, titles as in what we discuss. So we've discussed Windows 8. That's it. Make the title. What, what, you know, what, what we're doing uh, with the mini sodic part? Tech Babble Windows 8. No, no. What, 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 we, we call it this grumpy text. What, what, yeah. what, that, that's one of the things we switched over with the new season here. We have switched it over to a mini sodic thing. So each like group topic block, I'm changing the title block, and like we're we're on now season three zero zero four because this is our third year of doing shows, and I've called this grumpy text. We've just, we're renaming for this year. We're doing a reboot. So this year's stuff is season three, and each section is an episode, not part, 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 part. But, but do, do this. In the title, you don't have to do Grumpy Tech. Just, when they watch a video, they'll understand this is a Grumpy Tech show. In the title of the video on YouTube, make it discussing Windows 8 or Windows 8 this because we will actually get YouTube itself and the search engine will actually get more credits to the video on the topic of Windows 8, Windows 8 if you just leave the titles of each of these videos to what we discussed. They can understand that it's Grumpy Tech by watching the video. We don't have to say Grumpy Tech episode one, you know, blah blah blah. blah. We don't I, I, I agree with you, and that's actually the way I want to name it. The problem is because we're not a uber high partner, YouTube won't give us access to the shows section. So if I don't put the individual show names in the title, then the users don't have a way to find the other shows in that we're not, we're not interested in that actually we don't need to we don't need to think of what we're doing right now as a one continuous show we're we should just think of what we're doing now as separate shows and that's it they don't need to see all what we did on thursday night they need to see it in terms of interest of the title we need to we need to break that ideology in my opinion of saying oh this is everything we did on thursday night and this is how you can find everything on thursday night no i think i think by the way you post already they can see the most recent videos as it is, that already tells them, number one, oh, well, geez, they just had a bunch of videos come out. I think the title, first and foremost, should be what we're discussing, and you leave it at that, but the keywords is that, and actually we'll probably get a lot more audience and a lot more feedback than what we're doing, because right now we have a lot of loyal viewers that are, that are staying loyal on that, but we will get a lot more by the titles, excluding everything like episode one, blah, blah, blah. Windows 8, we discussed it. Okay, for for the next for the next month till at least March, we will do it that way, and we will just have it here in the title sequence up here, but it won't be in the title on YouTube. Uh, people actually leave feedback on that if you prefer if it, if it's uh, I I I was doing it to try and make it easy on y'all, but if y'all don't care, 
uh, and y'all want to wait till YouTube decides to let us organize it in a way that you can find this, the the group of stuff, you know, I, I'm fine with doing that. I, I, I'm just, well, look, if they're subscribing to you, they're already going to see in the order of the way we publish, okay? Because they're going to see it. Well, no, my, my, my logic uh, bit was for, like, somebody comes across a video we made, uh -huh. and they want to go back and look at old shows. And I have seen some people do that. Well, then, then what, we, what needs to happen is you need to make yourself a video that explaining your entire channel and how it works, and have it autoplay when people hit your channel. And try to get it as fast as possible out. You know, well, uh, no, what I'm going to need to do is, uh, instead of doing that, I'm going to have to create playlists for just all the episodes of each show. So. You could do that, too. You could do that. Yeah, I, I'm going to basically, but I, there's, I've been, the problem is there's 700 backlogged videos to go through now and organize that way. So I, that's going to take me a while, people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I, I think that I think I really think if we just keep the top, the, the title just the topics we're discussing, it makes it much more rele relevant and uh, we'll get a lot more hits. I think. Okay. Uh, well, the title I have here in a thing is Window. And that's why you and I now need to work on. Yeah. Uh, well, no, that that is one of the things. Every segment encapsulated, done, wash it out. You know? Yeah, and that's the thing we're doing this year. We're trying to. Uh, deal with the limitations that we got. The, the the working title we have right now is Windows 8 and the Big Metro. I'm trying to be a little bit of playish with them. 